In late January 1968, the people of South Vietnam busily prepare for the traditional holiday of Tet, marking the Lunar New Year. Civilians decorate their shops and homes, and the military looks forward to a brief ceasefire, with many Arvin soldiers taking leave as the country celebrates. Communist insurgents are preparing for something different, however. North Vietnam chooses the ceasefire as the time to launch the general uprising, a massive coordinated offensive targeting every major base and urban area in South Vietnam. Viet Cong guerrillas prepare and mobilize, while NVA troops infiltrate the South via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. On January 31st, over 80,000 communist troops attack hamlets, districts, and cities across South Vietnam, including Saigon and the previously untouched imperial capital of Hue. The traditional capital of Vietnam and a symbol of that country's rich cultural heritage, Hue is overrun by this Tet Offensive. Viet Cong and NVA troops pour through the streets, arresting Catholics, scholars, and other enemies of the revolution who do not flee. By the 1st of February, the entire city, including the venerated Palace of Peace, is firmly in communist hands. Only the American MACV compound to the south of the Perfume River and the Arvin 1st Division headquarters to the north of the Citadel managed to hold out against the fierce NVA attacks. Dear Mom and Dad, I got your letter and the Christmas cards just the other day. I'm glad to hear that everyone's doing well. I'm sorry that I missed another Christmas, but I'll be home soon. I can't wait to see you guys. Way is a beautiful city with a lot to see. The people here have been very friendly, and everything's been peaceful since I got here. We did a lot of hard fighting in Quezon, and it's good to be back somewhere with a bed, sheets, and walls. I miss Jamie and the guys from 3rd Battalion, but the folks here at MACV have been very nice. The compound's on the south side of the city, on the grounds of an old hotel. If you walk past the walls, you're right in way. Barracks here are a lot more comfortable than the mud at Quezon, at least. New Year's Eve was a lot of fun. Some of the Australian guys got a little out of control, though. There's a lot more partying coming up. The Tet holidays start tomorrow, and the entire country will be celebrating. I've never been in a city during Tet before, but some of the staff here say it gets very wild. You know I'll stay out of trouble, though. The reports say there's been some rocket attacks around Quezon, but no major fighting, so Jamie should have a good Tet, too. Word here at MACV is that the Viet Cong are on the run, and things should be winding down soon. I hope they're right. Love, Dean. While you pogues have been skating through the war and way, grunts like Shepard and me have been busting our humps out in the bush. Ain't that right, Shep? If you think crawling down in those tunnels around Coochie and getting your belly ripped open by a booby trap is skating, I think you may be crazy. Shep was down in them tunnels, too. I would have gone down there, but I was up in Quezon at the time. Will you two shut up. You sound just like my parents. Hey, let me see that bottle. A little toast to Shepard over there. Short son of a bitch is going to be leaving on a freedom bird in a week's time. Hey, congratulations, man. You earned it. Happy New Year. Hey, hey, I'm going home, too. All them ladies back in Fort Dodge better watch out, because old Dan Schoenauer is on the prowl. Shit, Hoss. You wouldn't know what to do with it if you got it. Bite me, Chastler. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Hi! Can you give me a drink? Jesus, Tommy, I thought all the Boom Boom houses were closed for Tet. This is no Boom Boom, girl. This is my, my fiancé, Boo Vong. Boo! <laughs> well, yeah, Wong. Yeah, right. Sorry, sweetie. Just fireworks, silly! <laughs> I'll give you fireworks. <laughs> Smooth, Tommy. Real smooth. We gotta move, Jeff. We gotta get to our bunkers across the base. Come on.
We gotta move, Shep. We gotta get to our bunkers across the bay. Come on.
No more room in here, mate. Go make yourself useful somewhere else. Dear son, we've been watching the news and hearing about the attacks occurring all over Vietnam. They say the Hue has fallen to the communists and that there have been a lot of casualties. We've also heard that Khe San may be surrounded by a large number of NVA troops. Your mother and I pray for your brother and your friends every day. Son, I hope this letter finds you well. I know you won't be able to write back for a while, and I have no idea when this letter might reach you, but I want you to know we're praying for you. The fellows on the news are calling this the greatest disaster in American military history. That sounds like a big exaggeration to me, but that's a small comfort when both your sons are in the thick of it. They say the attacks sprang up all across the country and that it shows that people are really on the communist side. That doesn't sound much like what you've been writing to us, but it looks like the war is far from over. I know your tour is almost up, and your mom and I are just hoping you'll be okay for a few weeks more. Please write back as soon as you can, and tell us you are safe, and send news of Jamie if you get any. God bless. Dad. <laughs>